How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Minus the Gym. And this is going to be a totally different video from my usual stuff because I've had many requests now for a house tour and to keep it kind of MTG style I'm going to do it as a house and home gym tour. But we're starting right here in the foyer when you walk into my house and I'm just going to take you on a quick tour because you know I thought a little behind the scenes style stuff would be kind of fun. So. This is the foyer and um, right next to the front door there is the opening to my daughter's playroom. Okay, and you might recognize that big doorway there because you've probably seen me in past videos hanging my duonamic grips on there for different types of pull-ups and stuff or just using the rings attachment on the duonamic. So that's probably for some of you something you recognize right there. Now if I walk into this room, uh, I might lose you because the lighting is kind of weird and the camera likes to focus differently, but you can see this actually used to be my office once upon a time and I had plenty of room to work out in here, but now it's a legit playroom. I mean there's so many toys in here, half of which my kids don't even really play with. I mean <laughs> they have so many, I don't see how they could. Um, but yeah, that is the playroom and my wife has done a fantastic job decorating that. In fact, that's kind of what she does. She like decorates stuff and like all around the house and she creates these activities for the kids and she posts them on Instagram. So for any of you with kids who are interested in that, I will put a link to her Instagram in the description box down below, along with any equipment like the Duonamic that I mentioned earlier, any equipment I mentioned in this video, I will put links and any relevant discount codes in the description box. All right, now, so we're in the foyer still, and if you turn this other direction, this might look more familiar with the piano and the fireplace. Uh-oh, I'm losing you. There we go, some lighting. This is the, what we call TV room. It's a, you know, living room. Um, but this probably looks familiar. I have shot tons of videos in here. I've done everything from my old handstand, you know, frog stand video and everything, to even my most recent videos. I usually stand right about here and have that stuff in the background. And this is, you know, we don't watch a lot of TV, but if we do, this is where we watch television. We've got a couch over there, a TV across from it, just like a typical living room. And that uh, double doors back there, it, those are sliding doors going out to the screen porch. Now you may have seen me shoot videos in the screen porch before, and it's, it's a cozy little area that we hang out in. And there's not a lot of room for like shooting videos and doing exercises, but it's a great place to hang out. And definitely one of my favorite parts of the house. All right, now leaving the TV room, coming back around here. Now we're in the dining room. All right, let's see. I'm struggling with lighting here. Let's go over here. Uh, yeah, typical dining room. We've got a chandelier and a table and we eat there and stuff. It's great. But here's something cool. My wife made this table, believe it or not. This, you know, main dining room table here, she made... Um, she's actually really good. Like, she refinishes furniture and she does a lot of woodworking. She's better than I am when it comes to using a drill and a hammer and nails and stuff. So she did it all, you know, with a miter saw and everything. It's a legit table. And that's what we uh, eat dinner at a lot of the time. And we've got this pass-through window here. There's even canned lighting up there. We, uh, we put that in, actually. That didn't come with the house. This was just a solid wall. And we had that put in. Got stools here for a breakfast bar, pretty sweet. And that goes into the kitchen. And this might look familiar, right? Um, I've shot a lot of videos here in the kitchen. Not sure, I'll, I'll overlay some uh, better video of all this stuff, guys, because I know I'm not getting the greatest footage here trying to capture me and the house. Uh, but typically I would stand right over there, like between the island and the sink and have the camera facing directly at me and, and shoot there. Other times I set up the camera right here and you've got the whole kitchen in the background. And we actually used to have a lot more cabinets back there uh, before those shelves. We just put in those shelves last year just to open up the space a little bit more and it really did work. Uh, if you haven't noticed, my wife loves white and wood and she pretty much does all the decorating. I don't know anything about decorating. All right, so that's pretty much the kitchen in a nutshell, and what I'm gonna do is take you straight across there. That is the door to our garage, because there is something I wanna show you out there. All right, so out here in the garage, there's really just one thing I wanna show you, and that is this pull-up bar up here mounted on the I-beam, all right? This is made by a company called Pro Mountings. I love this pull-up bar. It is a bit pricey. I think I paid almost $200 for it, 
but I mean, it's legit. Once you mount it on your I-beam, it does not move. It is the sturdiest pull-up bar I have. And that's even if we go out back, like literally right behind me in the backyard over here next to the garage, I also have an anchored pull-up bar that I've cemented into the ground. Now, I'm not that good at woodworking, so I, I didn't really make it up to spec, you could say, and it has a huge crack in it. And that's why I never really made a video on the channel about how I made it, because it's just, uh, I probably should have gone deeper with the posts or gone a little wider, you know, wider than four by fours. So I haven't been using that pull-up bar as much. I'm probably gonna take it down and, and maybe rebuild it one day, but this I-beam pull-up bar up here has been probably my favorite out of everything I have. And I also hang rings from it. You've probably seen that in other videos. I'll throw some straps over the pull-up bar and I can have rings here in my garage. So that's definitely um, something worth looking into if you have an I-beam in your house or your garage. Awesome pull-up bar. All right, coming back in from the garage. Sorry it's so dark. The lighting is kind of funky in our house, but oh, now I'm out of focus. All right, that took forever, but I'm back in focus now. So here in the foyer, we got stairs going upstairs. I don't work out upstairs, so you've probably never seen that in any of my videos, but I will just show you anyways. We've got a master bedroom up there. Um, it's a typical master bedroom. It's got two closets and a master bath. And then both my daughters have bedrooms up there. Now there is a third bedroom in the basement, but I've converted that to an office. And you have seen that in other videos, but we'll go down there anyways. So we will now head to the basement. All right, so here in the basement, you probably recognize that door if you've seen my pull-up tutorial and a lot of my older videos. That is the door to the third bedroom, which I've converted to my office recently or in the last couple years. Um, but I've shot a lot of videos hanging a doorway pull-up bar on there. Um, but now that's where my desk is. You've seen probably a lot of my videos where I'm sitting at a desk and I'm talking about stuff. That is the office. And there's really not much to see in there besides my, my desk and I've got my YouTube plaque in there. Uh, over to one side, this is just a messy area with like a bunch of toys and stuff for the kids. Got my drums way over there. I think what you're most interested in though is on the other half of the basement over here, which is the workout area. All right, the lighting kind of sucks down here. So I set up my ring light right behind the camera. Uh, basically, this used to be an area with like a TV and a couch, a couple couches, but we just never used it. We never watched movies down here or anything. So I told my wife one day, I said, you know what, I'm just going to give up that couch on offer up, just let someone have it and convert that area into a workout area. And that's exactly what I did. So let me show you what I have here. So for starters, uh, that big thing on the floor to the right is my weight vest. I just have it there for when I need it. This is an adjustable bench. And to accompany that, I have these adjustable dumbbells, right? These are the power block dumbbells. If any of you are in the market for dumbbells, highly recommend these. I've had them for about 15 years and they're just as good as new. And this set goes up to 90 pounds, which is pretty heavy. Um, I'm actually maxing those out. Whenever I do chest press, which is only like once a month, I'll pick up the dumbbells. I'm doing like six reps with the 90s. So I think I'm ready to advance. You can always add on, and get an expansion pack to go heavier with those. So awesome dumbbells. Down here, I got a bunch of junk. I should have cleaned this up better. I've got my ab wheel, the carrying case for the Duonamic, and those are wooden parallettes that I got on Amazon, and I use those quite a bit. Those are like my, my go-tos are the parallettes, uh, my Swiss balls and foam roller. Uh, this gym mat is more for my kids. They like to do tumbling and stuff, but I use it for safety reasons when I'm going upside down on the rings or anything. And my parallel bars here. These are the B bars from base blocks. I love those. Adjustable parallel bars, another one of my go-tos. And down there is the base bench for like Nordic curls and uh, dragon flags. I've also got a bunch of bands for both resistance and assistance. And of course, the Minus the Gym logo up on the wall. So as a lot of you might be thinking, yes, this is overkill. You do not need nearly this much equipment, especially for calisthenics. If you just get a set of rings, that's enough. If you just get adjustable parallel bars, that's enough. In fact, even just a pull-up bar is enough to start with uh, and, and to really advance quite a bit. So you don't need all this equipment. I just sort of geek out on this stuff. It's a hobby of mine, so that's why I have so much. Plus, having a YouTube channel, once I got to around 100,000 subscribers, 
companies just started sending me stuff, you know, and I've collected things. I've actually gotten rid of quite a few things, things that I never even shared on the channel because I just didn't like them. I didn't think they were good quality. Um, but the stuff you see here, like the base blocks, equipment, you know, rings, parallettes, those are, in my opinion, the staples and the things I'm always going to use. Um, the dumbbells are fun to have too, but they are an investment. I think the, the power blocks cost me like 600 bucks. And then the tower thing, the stand that you put them on was even more money. I think like another 80. So they're pretty expensive, but definitely worth the investment if you want to get into weightlifting. And there you go. That's my house and my workout area in a nutshell. I mean, I didn't show you all the bathrooms and laundry room and things like that, but I don't know. I, I don't see why you'd want to see that. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed something different, something behind the scenes, let me know, drop a like, and who knows, maybe I'll make more content like this. All right. I'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.